Hey, good morning. We are out at Pacific City today. It's the middle of June. It's our first trip out in the salt. We're gonna be targeting rockfish, lingcod, dungeness crab, and who knows what else we're gonna get. So let's get out of a good safe hunt. It's gonna be a little sporty on the way out, but I think we're gonna have a great day and get into a lot of nice fish, so let's go. Well, we finally made it out. It was a little squirrely. My buddy Lauren and a couple other guys all rolled their boats on the way out. The surf is uh, pretty tricky. It's a minus 2.0 tide, which means the, the surf is really, really low. So there's a big trough that was scary, but uh, I got it out. We're heading to the southeast corner of the rock. We're gonna drop our crab pot about 50 feet of water on some nice smooth bottom and then we're going to head toward the rock we're first going to fish rockfish with light tackle small swim baits i'll show you guys what i'm doing we're going to load up on rockfish and then we're going to switch over and target links so we got a little bit of a paddle to get to the spot we want to go but we're going to get there it's beautiful out here no wind and i could not be more excited about today so let's go have some fun Okay, we're all set to deploy. Here we go. Good to go. Let's go fishing. So we're in a new spot. A little deeper. There's fish everywhere here. Hopefully we're gonna get into a couple. We don't have lock jaw like the yellow, like the last place. There's a fish. There's a fish. That's a fatty. Oh, yes. That's probably a lingcod. I would bet. Or a cabbie. Oh, that's a fat cabbie. Oh, I would take you home. You were a month later. There we go. Nice fish. This fishery of Pacific City is by far my most favorite location to fish. It's easy access. You can get out here. You don't have to pedal far. And you can catch anything from several different species of rockfish, greenling, lingcod, cabazon, halibut, salmon. It's got everything. Oh, and Dungeness Crab are everywhere here, so it's gonna be an awesome day. When I fish, I like to fish light tackle. A lot of guys will go out there with really heavy gear and really heavy lead. And by the end of the day, you wish your arm fell off because you've been lifting this huge heavy rod all day long. I like to fish with 10 to 30 pound rods, three ounces max on the, on the sinkers, and little swim baits. You know, there's a saying that elephants eat peanuts. You don't need big swim baits to catch big lingcod and big cabazon. I've got some of my biggest fish on four or five inch swim baits and they eat them. That's like a snack. So it's good stuff. So we're gonna fish with light tackle, get in some good fights, and hopefully get some good fish. Got another suspended school here. Let's see if we can get one to bite. There's a fish. Fish on. Hopefully it's a rockfish. What do we got? Come on, really? Nice. This is called the China rockfish. Beautiful fish. Check them out, really pretty looking. They're good eating, but we can't keep them right now, so they gotta go back. 
Beautiful fish. Adios, amigo. There's a fish. Finally, we're going to get a fish. Oh, it's a nice black rock fish. Oh, mama. Hello. Fish right there. Look at that! Whoa! Yes, sir. That's a nice black rock. We'll take that. That's perfect eating size. We're back fishing again, back with the bird with gulp minnows. Sitting right on top of another school. I can see the fish coming to the surface for these baits. We're gonna get one right here. There we go. Fish on. Man, they are boiling at the surface. There's a fish. Another little one. Man, taco. Let's get a nice big fat one here. Come on. Come on, fish. Pick it up. Pick it up. If you guys can see the fish finder here, they're everywhere. Top to bottom. Yeah, they're all about the same size. So we're switching up. I'm tired of fighting that other reel. So I'm going to switch things up. I'm going to put on my bait caster. switch over to a triple rig here that will catch both rockfish and lingcod. So I got a couple of feline kicker minnows on here. I got a twin tail squid jig with three ounces of weight at the bottom. Now there's a good chance we're going to get into multiple fish at a time which is great because so we only got two fish in the bucket that we kept. We're going to get the others. We might even pick up a ling at the same time. So let's get going here. Now when you're fishing multiple hooks like this, you're up to let your rod up to three hooks. If you get one fish, a lot of times you want to set the hook, keep the line tight, and the other fish go after the other jigs. So it's a good chance you get a double or even a triple and be done in one drop. So right now I'll take one. Well, and now of course we're stuck now. Okay, well, that's not good. Oh. We have to do now. Wrap the line around this thing. Hope you're gonna get. It. I think you might have snapped. 
Dang it. Fish on. A nice black rock. Respectable. Okay, we're still on fish. Still on a nice big fat school here. So we're gonna drop down to about 25 feet where it looks like they're hanging. Already got a fish on. There we go. I think I got one fish. Let's see if we can get a double or a triple. Ah. Should have just bought it up instead of being greedy. There's a fish. Yeah, baby. Oh, cabby. Come on. He hit my big hammer swim bait. Not a bad little setup here. Got it with a second stinger hook. Because these long, these hooks are just not long enough. Let's get the bait back down there. There's still a bunch of fish on the bottom. Now, if you want to have your fish fresh and blood free, After you catch the fish, you want to cut the gills. That allows the fish to bleed out, and you will have no blood in your fillets, and they will be sashimi quality. So, you definitely want to do that right when you catch the fish. That way they bleed out, and they die quickly. And also, if you have a nice burlap bag like this, it's good to keep wetting it, throwing it over your fish so they stay cold. It might be a small ling or a cabby. Oh no, that's a legal ling. Hello, friend. Hello. Fuck yeah. Yes. A blue one. That's, that'll, that'll measure. Nice! We're dropping down. I've got a six inch big hammer swim bait on and a little curly tail. And I just tipped the big hammer with a, uh, with a piece of squid. And on that first drop, that lingcod hammered it. So that's a good sign. So hopefully, we're dropping right in the same spot now. We're about 85 feet of water. Hopefully we'll get another link cod to pick this guy up. And we'll be done. We'll get the pots and get out of here. This guy's coming up way too easy. Probably a rockfish. Oh yeah, big rock. Oh, hello, sir. Look at that dude. <laughs> that is a big one. We had an awesome day today. We got into a lot of rockfish. 
Got a couple of cabbies, got a nice big blue ling. One short crab in the pot, so kind of disappointing. But I got a bunch of these little whelk, I think they're called whelk snails. I've heard they're edible, you can boil them up and eat them just like clams. I got maybe a dozen of them. We're gonna give it a shot. Might be something new, something delicious. Anyway, they were clinging to my crab bait. But again, awesome day, had a really good time. Good safe trip out. Now we're gonna paddle back in. Hopefully the surf's gonna be a little less sporty on the way in. But all in all, good time. If you guys enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, make a nice comment. Tell me if you like it, and I appreciate you joining, and I look forward to joining you in the next adventure. Thank you.